What's up, good people? We are here with Frédéric Constant at Watches and Wonders 2023, and I'm really excited to be having this conversation with Niels Erding. Uh, and forgive me for destroying your Perfectly last name. Perfectly pronounced. Uh, <laughs> I highly doubt that. FC Group CEO, we appreciate you for making the time to spend with us. Uh, it's been a real privilege being able to get hands on with your novelties. They are outstanding. And the hospitality that the uh, entire FC team has shown us this week has been uh, nothing short of amazing. So we appreciate it. I wanted to use this uh, conversation as an opportunity to talk more about Frederick Constant's story. Sure. I think many people are aware of how incredible the watches are, but I learned a lot of new things when we did the manufacturer tour earlier this week. And one of the things that stood out to me most was finding out that this company actually has Dutch roots. Yeah. That the founders uh, were not Swiss. No. Uh, and this is a very young brand. You're celebrating your 35th anniversary. When you actually think about the scope of what Frederic Constant has achieved in terms of 30 manufacturer calibers in 35 years, I think soon to be 31. What should people really know and understand about the brand, specifically when it comes to your values, your traditions, what informs how you create these timepieces? Well, we are 35 years young and we celebrate this year, yeah. proudly, because indeed we have accomplished a lot in the past years. And Peter and Aletta started the company 35 years ago with a passion, with a dream that really embodied a few values. First of all, you have passion, you need passion. Mm -hmm. You need to be ent entrepreneurial, you have the passion to drive yourself. Very impor important, a purpose-driven uh, company uh, idea. And that brought a lot of engagement from the teams. So then I loop like uh, back to now, today, it's still embodied in the company. Mm. People that are working are still heavily passionate about the watches. And without that, we would never achieve where we are now. Because we have 35 years young, but we achieved 30 in-house movements mm -hmm. based on three base conceptions. The 700 series, where you have the moon phase, the world timer, the petrol calendar. Mm -hmm. The 800 series, that's the latest new conception, the monolithic. And the 900 series is the tourbillon base. And then in total, we have 30 in-house movements. For a young watch brand, that's remarkable. And I think that's something what people should know. Yeah, and there are manufacturers that are far older and have produced far fewer yeah. uh, manufacturer calibers. So I, it really is a testament uh, to where you all are focused and on what you're investing in. Um, tell us a little bit more about what it's like to be a manufacturer with Dutch roots, not being Swiss. Was that ever a barrier? Do you ever feel like, um, or was there ever a period in, in, in FC's life where there may have been some hurdles to navigate being an outsider, right? Uh, having founders that were not Swiss, uh, but had the passion and had a very clear vision on what they wanted to create. Yeah. So it had its ups and downs. Mm. Uh, and I'm Dutch too. Uh, so they hired me 12 years ago. I moved from Holland from the Swatch Group to uh, Frédéric Constant and I was directly attracted by the high rhythm of work and the vision that was in place. And um, the Dutch mentality is very flat in the organization. We don't have a huge hierarchy mm. in working. We don't have a boss, a manager, a manager, a boss, and th there downstairs again, a manager that's managing an atelier. Now we have a management team of eight, nine people that is managing the whole company. And my door is always open and the employees are always able to come to my office. That drive, that spirit is very entrepreneurial and very transparent. That's different than Swiss, way different. And that was needed because we had to go much quicker to catch up. Mm. Many other companies, they live indeed already 150 years or they mm -hmm. celebrate 175 years. Yeah. It's a huge history. Yeah. But we have been pushing the limits by innovative innovations. We constantly bring every year one or two new calibers. Mm -hmm. and that drives us, that differentiates us, but that makes us unique because we have such a flat organization. It's not just the innovation which is incredible. I think it's there's also immense value in what in the timepieces that you're creating. And and I, I was able to develop a much deeper appreciation for this 
when we went through the manufacturer tour, but seeing the design process, seeing the work and the effort uh, that goes into designing these calibers, uh, the quality of the finishing on the movements, and watches that are uh, phenomenal in quality, but in many cases uh, priced appreciably below right, what other competitors uh, might be uh, yeah. asking for something maybe with similar complications. Yeah, true. How, how do you all think about value when it comes to the timepieces you're creating? We want to uh, have basically the most highest value that the consumer pays for. So the value needs to be high and it needs to have an, an, a fair price for it. Mm -hmm. Why are we doing that? Because we simply take less margin than the most comp competitors are do. We also don't invest in very expensive brand ambassadors. We invest <laughs> in the product yeah. innovations. And innovations helps us basically to constantly bring the brand up to the magazines, the YouTube, the, 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 the blogs, mm -hmm. where the, the watch connoisseurs are picking it up. Mm -hmm. And if you look here, this piece, this is the most iconic movement we have. And for me still, eh, an, a manufacturer movement is something that we need to explain. Because many brands consider themselves as a manufacturer. Mm. A manufacturer caliber needs to be designed fully in-house. Mm -hmm. You cannot purchase a design. You cannot purchase a conception. You need to do the design with the CNC machines completely in-house. Mm -hmm. Then you need the production fully in-house. And then you do the assembling. That line is considered as a real manufacturer caliber. Mm -hmm. It gives you unlimited flexibility in the design of dial, but also unlimited growth potential. Mm -hmm. This is a wheel timer that is easy adjustable through the crown, mm -hmm. no extra pusher. We celebrated last year 10 years anniversary. This is the most iconic movement we have and it's the best sold mechanical movement we have in manufacture. Mm -hmm. In the High Life case, it's a light brown shades of, uh, of, of different shades, yeah. sorry. 41 millimeter or High Life case, interchangeable strap, comes with Suet alligator comes mm -hmm. with a rubber strap and with a bracelet mm -hmm. for 4,395 yeah, euro. It's, it's, it's absurd uh, to even fathom that much value the, and that much innovation in-house yeah. right, at that price point. Yeah. And that makes us unique. Yeah. And I think that's a lot of value for the consumer to purchase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, is, um, th this piece in particular, this collection in particular is it is incredible for all the reasons that you said, but also the diversity in the offerings, right? We had an opportunity to see all of the different dial colors. I oh yeah, with uh, the factory. Yeah, at yeah, the sure. factory tour, we saw red dials, green dials, blue dials. Uh, we had an opportunity to get hands on with this limited edition yeah. uh, piece that unfortunately will not be available in the US, uh, but this beautiful rose gold yeah. uh, is, is just simply outstanding. And then, right, we look at the Torreon, right? Which sure. is, um, at 39 millimeters, uh, in solid rose gold, at a price point that, I, frankly, I think is unheard of for a Torbillon. Yeah, true. Yeah, tell us more about Torbillons at, at Frederic Constant. We started, um, the first movement we did was an open heart manufacture back in 2004. Mm -hmm. Then in 2008, we really wanted to achieve more haute logerie, and we brought the first Torbillon caliber. It had different functionalities, day date mm -hmm. uh, pointer, together with the tourbillon, and it was 40,000 euro. In that time, not even that expensive. Mm. Today, we bring it back, the tourbillon, in a much more cleaner design. So we have done the world timer, we have done a perpetual calendar, the most accessible perpetual calendar in the market. We have done perpetual calendar tourbillon, mm -hmm. a flyback chronograph. And today, we're going to introduce, to celebrate the 35th year anniversary of the company, the brand, a tourbillon in a 39 millimeter gold case. The tourbillon and the dial are completely redesigned. This is also the new direction for the classical manufacture collection, mm. the dial and the case design. The tourbillon normally hosted mostly in a 41 millimeter or 42 millimeter case. Mm -hmm. We on purposely brought it to 39, much more in the sweet spot of sizes today. Yes. And this one cost 26,000 euro. That's incredible. Uh, it's very accessible. <laughs> it is very accessible. 150 pieces limited edition, yeah. and the escapement and anchor are from Silicium. So it's a unique proposition that people have now entrance to where they normally would not spend the money to. Mm -hmm. So we give them now the opportunity. 
And later in the year, we have the stainless steel, and that will be slightly under 15,000 euro. Mm. Wow. Do you have a favorite among this year's novelties? Uh, I should say the tourbillon. <laughs> I should say I'm wearing it also. Yeah. Uh, but still, my, one of my favorites is it's still the, the, the world timer. I travel around the world in every different time zones. Mm -hmm. I fly all, everywhere and I fa find it very convenient to read instantly different times. Yeah. And I find it a very nice dress wash. Uh, it's, a be it's beautifully balanced because it, it has a, s a sporty profile, still elegant, highly legible, yeah. and with the flexibility to go from rubber to the alligator, to the bracelet, uh, something that is appropriate for yep. any occasion. So I can, I can appreciate why that is your favorite. How do you all think about your customers and what, is, what do they look like? Yeah. I think the typical customer that we used to have uh, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. let's start with that, that was the young upcoming business man, woman, coming from school, university, had their or his first job and wanted to have a first dress watch mm. with a high luxury feeling. Then you enter into the world of auto, uh, quartz or a base automatic, just around 1,000 euro, six, seven, 700 euro, 1,000 euro. Today, I have to say, the young people somehow have more money, <laughs> strange enough. I used to work for my money when I was young, but now, <laughs> nowadays it's different. Yeah. And um, we already approach them now with the High Life, that's this collection, this integrated bracelet, a bit more modern. And we have clearly seen a younger group, a younger audience, traction to the brand. And that's a bit different for us, new. Mm. And I like that because the new, the young, the generation Y, Z, sure. are the future luxury uh, generation. Mm -hmm. So we need to tap into them now. Mm -hmm. And I think it's specifically with your message of the company, but also your product. Absolutely. What does the future hold for Frederic Constant? So uh, we grow. This year we grew uh, 26%, wow. while the industry in our price segment was 25% down. So especially also the US, mm -hmm. strong growing market for us. But the future is that we will stay in a price bracket where we are. 1,000, 3,000 euro is really the price, the core where we are. But you will see more money for two complications mm. to be added in premium segment. So we're not gonna leave the price segment, we're gonna add, we're gonna give the, unit, the, the retail an opportunity to have premium priced product as a world timer, as a tourbillon. That you can see here. More to come. More to come. Much more to come. Uh, the future is very bright indeed, Nils. Thank you so much. <laughs>